OK, delighted to be joined by Desi Farrell, All-Ireland Senior Football Winning Manager for 2023. Massive congratulations, Desi. A massive, massive day and a massive, massive win here this, this afternoon. Yeah, um, uh, it's, it's surreal. Like, you know, there's um, just the joy and emotion at the end of the final whistle there. Uh, so, so happy for all the players, the commitment all season long, the demands placed on them, you know, uh, for some of them to be able to keep coming back to the well as they do. Uh, for the young lads, their f first big occasion in All Ireland final for them and for their families. Uh, so happy for them. So, uh, special group and a special day. You'll have to uh, ignore the noise. We're just outside the Dublin dressing room. It's obviously very, very loud. And in the dressing room, like you mentioned there, young guys winning their first All Ireland. As opposed, and on, the, on the other side of things, there's three guys in there winning their ninth All Ireland as well. Massive blend of youth and experience in the panel. Yeah, it, it's unbelievable to think that, that it could be such an expanse within the group, uh, nine medals and some of their first, you know, so, but, but that's how the group came together this year and um, the young lads brought great energy and enthusiasm, enthusiasm, eagerness to learn and I think the senior guys responded really well to that, that student mentor type of thing going on for a lot of the season um, and yet the young lads kept pushing, want, wanting the jersey, wanting their place and uh, and then the senior guys, they just they stepped up to another level when it was required. And uh, that bit of experience and composure out there at the end was really, really important. So completely over the moon for, for all the lads and, and their partners and their wives and the families, the mothers and fathers who've nurtured these young men over the years, all the clubs, the club coaches, the development squad coaches that I've worked with, many great coaches who, who've uh, taken care and mentored and... Uh, and offered gu great guidance and, and coaching to many of these lads in the room. You know, some some special people along the way there that uh, all have had a hand in this victory today. A word on the three guys in particular, uh, James, Stephen, and, and Michael Fitzsimons, uh, who are winning their ninth All Ireland medal. It's it's mental to think about. It is. It's uh, it's unbelievable, really. It's um, they're they're special people. Uh, never mind Dublin, I don't think the GA will ever see the likes of those players again. Um, how they just keep doing what they're doing. Uh, they're, they're just completely selfless. It's all about Dublin football. It was never about themselves. It was never about the accolades or the achievements or the medals. It was all about driving Dublin football on and they've been, they've been immense in the leadership qualities they've shown over the years. But in particular this year when, um, when we knew there was you know, we wanted to right the wrongs of the last two seasons and um, and those men in particular stood up. You mentioned right the wrongs of the last couple of seasons. There has been all our semi-final defeats in 2021-2022, relegation last year as well. What a way to, I guess, finish that circle of the last couple of years with an all Ireland win here today. Yeah, and you know, obviously the relegation was disappointing, but it wasn't the end of the world because, you know, we were experimenting, we were trying things out in the league. So it's championship football that matters um, most of course uh, to this group and to all of us and we'd identified that at the start of every year and um, you know the two semi-finals one of them were beaten an extra time the other was the last kick again you know so we were we, we knew we were capable and um, you know we just needed one or two things to fall right for us uh, definitely get the couple of lads back some of the younger lads being a, that 12 months more experience seeing great progression in their development as, as young footballers as well and uh, that was an important factor too so it was a culmination of many things and uh, probably most of all character we identified that at the start of the year as, as being what this season was about uh, we spoke about it a lot it meant a lot to us uh, we, were, we were able to identify the traits that were going to be really important to us and uh, we kept hammering them yeah, home and it was brilliant <laughs> Uh, thanks, Jack. A word on the uh, game itself, Dizzy. Uh, obviously, a game that went uh, ebbed and flowed either way. Kerry le leading by, I think, four, four or five points at one, at one, one stage in the second half. Dublin coming back into it with that goal, obviously, to level the game. It was nip and tuck right until the 70th, 71st minute when Dublin took the lead for the, for the last time, I guess, but a proper, really, pro proper game of football. Yeah, we, we knew it was going to be that way. Um, I, th I think in that period when, when Kerry started to stretch away, it was important that we were hung on to their coattails and uh, um, we were able to do that. Obviously, the goal was a big help. Um, Con hitting the crossbar was unfortunate, but so we sort of knew that there may be opportunities. Uh, Paddy stuck his away, which was great. And uh, we'd spoken about it beforehand that there would come a moment in the game where 
it was going to matter most and to win the moments and uh, it was just brilliant to see them go and do what they did there down the straight. Finally, Desi, this is your second All-Ireland win as a manager in, in four years of the senior footballers. Very, very different though to uh, 2020, obviously, because back in 2020 there was probably about 80 people here at, at the very most in Crow Park. Uh, the place was obviously closed, 82,500 people here. Obviously, a very different occasion, a very different All-Ireland win for yourself to be able to share it with uh, your your loved ones, your friends and your family and all obviously the 82,000 people or at least 41,000 Dublin fans who are here today. Yeah, a very different uh, day of course. Anytime you win in All-Ireland is brilliant but today is special because family, uh, all our loved ones as you say can be here. It was great to share some moments with them afterwards um, because they're crucial in it all and uh, they don't get none of the glory or none of the abuse mind you but uh, they're, they're rock solid behind each and every player, behind all the management team and um, uh, it was important for them and uh, it was, I'm delighted for all the families, the partners, the wives, uh, the parents again, you know, it's, it's great to see some of the parents out there uh, hugging their sons, you know, their children if you like and uh, that meant so much to everybody, it was brilliant to see it. Congratulations, enjoy the celebrations as well.